How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar, and today we have a beautiful sunny day and a perfect day to test 100 watt panels side by side. We have some of the top brands, starting off with Renogy, then we have EcoWorthy, EcoFlow, a smaller one from Bouge RV, but that's bifacial, so really interested to see how that performs. Then we go to one of the favorite, Harbor Freight, performed really well over time, finishing off with Rich Solar. So we'll do some testing here so you can compare side by side, and we'll also give you a resource with all the information you need so you can review and fit that to your own project. In addition, I'll touch on a few things like tilt angle and what is that impact, so you're also making the right installation to get the most out of the 100 watt panels you select. So go ahead and set up the EcoFlow and the Bouge RV, face them south, and you'll see there's a massive difference in size between these too. So it'll be really interesting to see what power output they have and then later on compare that price per watt and watts per square foot. And then we'll be landing the power into EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus on the one side and going through a power analyzer which gives you a ton of great information including watt hours. And on the other side a Delta 2 with the same configuration. A lot of you guys ask about those power analyzers. You'll see a link in the description for the ones I use. Just don't forget you often have to crimp on MC4 connectors. So we're about halfway through the first test and we'll do two different segments, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Just want to check the angle here, the bubble angle on the iPhone measure app. And if we go to zero and then go back down, that'll show we're at about 35, 36 degrees tilt angle. Tilt angle is very important. We'll talk about that in one second because it can really impact how much power you're getting out of each of these. Now the EcoFlow is putting out about midway through 86 watts. And all these are a 100 watt panel, but we'll see often these panels do not get up to 100 watts. It depends on the conditions, but I'll also record the sun's intensity with the irradiance meter. These panels are quoted to be 100 watts and that's under standard test conditions. So the surface temperature needs to be 77 degrees Fahrenheit and the irradiance needs to be 100 watts per meter squared. So the Bouge RV is now somewhere around 83 or 84 watts. So both of them are doing well, but let's talk a little bit more about tilt angle. All right, so now I wanna show you the impact of tilt angle. This is absolutely something you need to take into account for your application because it makes a substantial difference in what the power output is from a 100 watt or a 200 watt or really any solar panel. We're southern facing right now, and we're gonna start off at zero angle, reading out what we're getting from this Renogy, making sure I'm not shading it. So right at 60 watts at a zero angle. So we'll go up by 10 degree increments. I'm using a fluke irradiance meter, which also has an angle finder on it. And then that's gonna give me a good reference that I can go off to make sure we're making the adjustments correctly. So I'll go down a little bit to get back to 10. All right, so that now is within 10 and we're already seeing 74 watts. So you can see it makes a substantial difference. Let's go up to 20. All right, 20 is at 83 watts. Let's go up to 30 now. The other panels are at about 35 to 36 degrees for this testing. And that's a good year round angle for my area. So at 30 degrees, we're now reading out 91 watts. Wow, this Renogy actually is performing really well compared to the EcoFlow and the Bouge RV. All right, so now we're at 40 degrees and we're at 96 watts. So we should start to see it degrade now and go back down as we get steeper and steeper with our angle. All right, now we're at 50, which we're at 97 watts. So we're not seeing the degradation quite yet. All right, right at 60, still at 97 watts. We we'll go up to 70. All right, right at 70, we're at 95 watts. Okay, now we're going back down. So let's go up to 80. And then 80 is back down to 92 watts. And let's go right to the 90 perpendicular. All right, that's close to 90. And now we're back down to 84 watts. So that will show you the distribution and how much difference that's gonna make. This is especially important if you're doing an RV application and you're trying to decide if you want to just flat mount on the roof or if you wanna buy some additional mounting hardware to get that tilt angle. These are the type of things that you need to consider. If you need a reference, we do have a link in the description. You can type in your address and quickly you can see the optimal angles for your panels depending on your location and what season you're in. So we just completed the two different trials, two hours a piece, one in the morning, 
one in the afternoon, and that's how we're gonna get the average power for the EcoFlow versus the Bouge RV, and it gives us the numbers that we need to compare versus those other four brands that we talked about at the start of the video. Now, 100 watt panels are fantastic for DIY, but probably not gonna offset your monthly power bill on your home. Initially, over a year ago, I went with a professionally installed system, and I started off in a link in the description where I just typed in my monthly power bill and a few different other pieces of information on my home, and I was able to quickly, in a few minutes, get an idea on sizing, mine was a little over 11 kilowatts for my home, and price, what was the average price after the 30% federal tax credit. Then I started to plan out because I wanted to buy with cash and talk to installers to see who was that installer I wanted to go with and have that long-term relationship so I know I had somebody to back up my warranty. Now that is a major investment and there is another option that I did on a rental property I own. And that is where I did a DIY grid tied and roof mounted system with the assistance of Project Solar. They did the designs, the prints, they pulled the permits for me, they delivered all the materials, then I took over and started the labor. And then once everything was done, we scheduled our two different inspections and then got permission to operate from the utility. And I saved over $10,000 just on that small system. So it can be a huge value if you have the skills and you want to take on a DIY system like that. Now for the testing, just to note, 60 degrees Fahrenheit and completely clear skies and sunny all day. For test one, the EcoFlow, harvested 162, and remember, those are watt hours because we were measuring the energy to try to get an overall power average. And then the Bouge RV was 158 watt hours. Now, all we have to do is then divide by two because two hours was the length of our overall test run, and then we would get 81 watts average for EcoFlow on test one, and then 70 nine watts for Bouge RV. Now in the afternoon, it was a little bit better and we had 176 watt hours. Again, we divide by two to get 88 watts and then 175 for the Bouge RV. So they kind of closed the gap between the two in the afternoon, which would be 87.5 watts. Now on average across those two, we would get 80, 4.5 watts for the EcoFlow and 83.3 watts for the Bouge RV. Now in the past, we've just talked about the power output on average during the testing, but that is not the best way. There's other things you need to take into account and I roll those all up on a spreadsheet that you can download. So let's take a quick look at that and show you also how to get a copy of it. So you'll see the link to this spreadsheet down in the description right below the video. And this is made to be a resource for you guys so you can go side by side. So EcoFlow and Bouge RV are the two that we specifically tested today. And then we have those other four panels that we tested earlier on and you can compare side by side. The 84.5 watts that we measured today goes right here in our average power for the EcoFlow and the 83.3 for the Bouge RV. Now, from feedback from you guys, just looking at power isn't telling the full story. So the blue and orange column here on the first tab, and there are two tabs to the spreadsheet, are what you wanna look at. The blue one's gonna be a efficiency metric. How many watts are you getting per square foot? And this is especially important if you have a limited amount of space. You can see between the EcoWorthy and the Bouge RV, the actual Bouge RV was quite a bit more efficient because it was quite a bit smaller overall, but it does not beat out the Renogy. We've had really good results with Renogy, which is the overall number one from an efficiency standpoint. Then what about a price per watt? Maybe you have all the space in the world and you just wanna maximize how many watts you're getting for the price. Well, that's gonna be your orange bar chart and you can see lower is better in this case and eco-worthy is the best. Now, Bouge RV and EcoFlow, actually are not good. When we look at our low, high, and average price ranges, that's what I'm pulling in, and that's the last 12 months of pricing on Amazon. Referencing these links here, that's where I'm getting the prices from those listings specifically. But then again, you can see Renogy actually is pretty strong when it comes to dollars per watt. So overall, Renogy is still my number one, even though EcoFlow and Bouge RV had solid construction, and they even look like they're from the same manufacturer if you look at the junction box and the wire leads but it's hard to beat the results we saw on Renogy overall. 
and bang for the buck, EcoWorthy is a pretty strong contender. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have any feedback? Do you want any additional information to help you out? We'll do the same thing on 200 watt panels, 400 watt panels, flexible panels. We're gonna really expand this out and try to get a safe source for each type of panel. Now, if you wanna dive a little bit deeper on the Harbor Freight and Rich Solar, you can check out this video right here. That was the complete testing for that video. And if you wanna go into the Renogy versus EcoWorthy, you can check this video out right here. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.